Well, thanks to Leon for the final three races at iTwin, and I'm now at Perth for the Highland National. And at the top, we've got Flynn's Bullet for Martin Lidham, Trend Attitude, David Robertson, Sean Will, Obi Wan, Ironical Harold, Graham Clutterbuck, Woodland Venture, David Hooley, Blanche Nege, Alex Cherry, The Pill Garlic, Padre Hogan, Moonshee, Stu Gray, Gran Torino, Paul Rhodes, LOLA Lola, Padre Hogan, Irish Tony Craig Beckwith, and Maggie's Saucier for Obi Wan. So, some good stairs in this, and away they go. They start in the shadow of the post, and we lose them behind those little buildings just for a short while. We've got them back in shot now, then, and we can see they've got three circuits of the track to go. And Flynn's bullet, and Sean Will disputing the lead. Both of these two like to go on from the front, so there could well be a bit of a battle here, and we could get a strong pace and a pretty exciting race as they get to the first. And they're all safely over the first with Flynn's bullet just about winning the battle to the lead at the moment from Sean Will in second. Then comes Trend Attitude in third, and ironical Harold fourth, and LOLA loaded after that one, and then Moon She and the Pill Garlic with Blanche Nish and Gran Torino Will Adventure and Irish Tony Maggie's Saucier just a back marker I wonder how many of these qualified for the Moore's Millions finals and decided that they didn't fancy giving the weight away to all the big guns and come here instead and all safely over the second because there's an option and sure went on Flynn's bullet disputing the lead so they get over the third so for yeah, well that I sometimes think there ought to be a sort of well, consolation because that's not the right word, but I think there ought to be a as well as the, the Moore's Millions final, maybe one of them should be a sort of 0-220 or something on, and then the other one 0-260. You can take your choice whether you want to go in the big prize money one or the sort of consolation prize one because it's a shame with all those qualifiers and so many horses qualify and then don't bother going to the final. And they get over the next. They're all safely over it with Shaw Will in front. Flynn's Bullet second. Trend Attitude third. And LOLA Lola is next. Maybe an open final. And a 0 to 140 or something, maybe. Anyway, they get over the fifth. Oh, they're all safely over that. With Shaw Will in the lead. Anyway, let's concentrate on the Highland National at Perth and not turn it into a discussion about the Moore's Millions finals. It's Sean Will in the lead. He's won the battle now with Flynn's bullet. Neither of them have gone as fast away as they normally do. Both of those two are quite often five, six, seven, eight lengths clear. Certainly the way Flynn's bullets won his races this season by getting out in front and not being caught and not going the right way for either of them at the moment as they've not managed to slip the field. And Flynn's bullet and sure will though still disputing the lead but Trend Attitude is right in there behind them in third yellow and they is fourth as they get over the water and two more circuits to go and don't worry that winning post won't be well the winning post will be there but they won't jump that water jump on the final circuit they'll go on that little chute and bypass the water jump on the third circuit but this is the second circuit Still going to jump it once more, and now sure when I'm feeling the bullet are starting to pull away just a little. From ironical Harold in third, and then Trend Attitude fourth. Then comes Moon She and LOLA Lola. Order Adventure is next, then the Pill Garlic and Blanche Neige with the Irish Tony. After that one, and then Gran Torino and finally Maggie Saucier is just a few lengths off the rest of them at the moment. I don't remember that one getting too far behind. To the ditch, which the old Maggie Saucier is gone, so I've got a feeling Maggie Saucier might not have been on a going day today. Maybe ready for the end of the season. Whether we see that one back or not next year remains to be seen. Towards the sad part of week 13, for certainly for me as a commentator, I don't know Leon's finding going to find that the same with his first season as commentator. When you get used to some of these horses calling their names out every week, and sometimes you think, well, they've got a commentate on them again it's just a little bit sad on you sentimental old twit like me Someone's banging on about 1970s horse racing I suppose but anyway Sean Will's in the lead from Flynn's Bullet second as they get over the 12th and I would say neither of them are going as well as they normally do in the lead 
process they don't like the fact that they've got some company sure will continues to be just about in the lead Flynn's bullet being niggled along in second Irish Tony is third now ironical Harold and Gran Torino with Trend Attitude and Woodland Ventures they're going to this next ditch and they're all safely over the ditch with Moon She having dropped to the back still got a mile and a half to go and come down the home straight again shortly and take the water take this plain one first and right down its nose there was Woodland Venture and then we'll have one more plain one to go as well yep they have that over that one and it'll be the water next and then a complete circuit of the track so sure will he's in the lead from Flynn's Bullet in second Irish Tony's moved through smoothly into third ironical Howard on the inside is fourth then Gran Torino and Trend Attitude with LOLA Lola as they get over that water for the final time and then head out on their final circuit. And Shawwood and Flynn's Bullet still disputing the lead with Ironical Harold in third and Trend Attitude fourth, Woodland Venture is fifth, Irish Tony still going well on the outside, Moon She is moving back through the pack again, then the Pill Garlic and Gran Torino and then the back pair LOLA Lola and Blanche Neige as they get over the 17th and there's a crashing fall there for Woodland Venture he made a mistake earlier on and he's paid the price this time and Woodland Venture is out of it but it's still sure will and Flynn's bullet they've got about two and a half lengths on Trend Attitude Ironical Harold is fourth and then Grand Tony and Irish Tony with the Pill Garlic and Moon She after that one Hello, while they load up beginning to struggle and the one that's tailing off is Blanche Nish as they get over that next one. And the leading pair are still clear. They're about three less clear now. They're probably further clear than they have been for a while. But the pack behind are surely going to get ready to start making a move soon. And it looks like the Pill Garlic might be the first one to come out of the pack and try and put the race onto the first two but it sure will who's gone on in there from Flynn's bullet the pill garlic joins him in third Irish Tony has decided to come and join in and suddenly we've got to lead him four then comes Trend Attitude and Gran Serena and ironical how it is all change up top now then there's Irish Tony and the pill garlic come through Irish Tony bursting into the lead then there from in second place the pill garlic they get over that one and Flynn's bullet looks beaten now dropping back through the pack like a stone sure wills trying to stick on in third but it's between Irish Tony and the pill garlic at the moment Gran Torino's trying to run on they're swinging into the straight and it's Irish Tony in the lead from the pill garlic in second then comes Gran Torino third ironical Howard fourth this is the third last the final ditch over it they go and it's Irish Tony and the pill garlic Irish Tony's two lengths clear of the pill garlic in second big gap back to Gran Torino Moon she is making good ground up the straight there's got a lot of ground to make up yet and two fences still to go it's Irish Tony and the Pill Garlic at the second last over they go they land together Moon she's back in third Gran Torino's trying to run on the Pill Garlic against the front Irish Tony immediately fights back Irish Tony on the inside Pill Garlic on the outside over the final fence they go Irish Tony jumps in better Irish Tony gets away from him better inside the final final it's Irish Tony who's beginning to pull away the Pill Garlic's got nothing left and Irish Tony is going to take the Perth Island National racing up towards the line it's going to be Irish Tony that takes it for Craig Beck with Irish Tony is going to be the winner from Pill Garlic in second Ironical Harold's running the third then Gran Torino and Moonshee and Shaw Will Flynn's bullet LOLA Lola and finally Trend Attitude as Blanche Nish pulled up in the straight but Irish Tony who was there or thereabouts has landed the prize today from the Pill Garlic so Irish Tony for Craig Beck with the winner the Pill Garlic Patrick Hogan second Ironical Harold, Graham Clutterbuck third, Gran Torino, Paul Rhodes fourth, and Moon Shee for Stu Gray was fifth.